I'm Allie and welcome back to Haven's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making vegetarian skillet stuffed shells. It's a one pot dish loaded with all sorts of veggies and packed with flavor thanks to our romesco sauce. I love this recipe because it feeds a crowd. Kids love it, grown-ups love it. It's nutrient dense and it doesn't take a lot of work because we've done all of the seasoning with the romesco. So unlike a lot of stuffed pasta recipes, this one's all done in a pan. So we're gonna shred our vegetables, saute them, take them out of the pan, put the shells in, stuff them, and then let them cook on top of the stove in the pan. If this recipe sounds like something you'd like to make, be sure to subscribe for this and all of our future cooking videos. All right, let's get started. You're gonna need a large saucepan that has a lid. You're gonna cook everything in that. We're also gonna be using a hand grater to shred our zucchini. For this dish, you're gonna need our red pepper romesco sauce. It's got three different types of roasted peppers, a little roasted garlic, some olive oil, and a hint of vinegar just for that like extra oomph of flavor. We're gonna have zucchini, which we're gonna shred, some spinach, which we're gonna chop up, ricotta, crushed tomatoes, garlic, really good parm cheese, and of course, your shells. We're gonna start by shredding our zucchini and sauteing that with our chopped spinach. We're gonna take out the veggies and then make the sauce, stuff the shells, cover the pot, and cook it until they're all tender. So I'm just gonna start off by shredding my zucchini and just holding my hand grater and just getting this nice and shredded down. Zucchini, like a lot of vegetables, is loaded with water, which is great, but zucchini, like all fruits and vegetables, is mostly made up of water. So we're gonna cook it down to try to get some of that liquid evaporated and really get the flavor. That way, when you make the shells, you're not ending up with, you know, sort of a, a like a liquid from the vegetable. We're down at the end. We have all of this beautiful zucchini. And now we're just gonna saute this, let some of the liquid from the veggies evaporate, add the spinach in, and then we'll move on to the next step. I'm just gonna break it down a little bit. It's gonna cook down anyway, but it just makes it easier if it's a little smaller. Spinach cooks down a lot. So it looks like a lot of spinach, but you end up with like <laughs> this much. Okay, so while our tomato sauce is cooking down, we've added in the romesco to the sauce. We're also now gonna make the filling and add a little bit of romesco into the filling. So it's like double romesco. So we have our cooked down veggies. We're just gonna add in the ricotta. You can start to see what's happening here. Mix that up. This is gonna be the filling for the stuffed shells. And then once we fill them, we're just gonna nestle them back in that simmering tomato romesco sauce. Now, if you think about it, everything's basically cooked already. The shells are cooked, the veggies are cooked, the sauce is cooked. So the last couple of minutes is just essentially all of the flavors kind of coming together. 
Now we're gonna put a little romesco in here. Add a little bit of that smoky tomato flavor. And it also just adds a beautiful color. Okay, so now we're gonna stuff the shells carefully and then we're gonna nestle the shells into the tomato sauce and then just cook it all together for a couple minutes and we'll be done. Okay, so we're just gonna open the shell a little bit, put in some of the filling and just set it on the plate until we're ready to put it into the sauce. So we're just gonna take a little bit of the filling, stuff it into the shell. It's gonna be hard to be very neat about this. And then basically once these are done, we're gonna nestle them into the tomato sauce. The tomato sauce is simmering. It's got that nice smoky tomato. If you feel like it's cooking down too quickly, you can always cut the heat a little bit you don't need a lot of sauce for this. So there you have it, our vegetarian skillet stuffed shells. If you enjoyed this recipe, be sure to like this video and subscribe to see all of our future cooking videos. For the full recipe and a textable shopping list, click the link below. Thank you so much for watching and cook happy.